G'day guys and welcome back to Medieval Mayhem. Today we're starting our playlist on Nalbundan. Nalbundan is an ancient craft, it in fact goes right back into antiquity. There's been examples found in Egypt, throughout parts of ancient Rome, particularly in parts of Scandinavia and so on. Some of the most exciting finds, in fact, are dated back to the 8th, 9th and 10th centuries in places like England and... Right, so part of null bunding is you need pure wool, but you also need a needle. I ordered my needles weeks ago, but unfortunately, due to the current restrictions, they still haven't arrived. A little bit frustrated, so today I decided to make my own. Traditionally, needles can be made from bone, from shell, from... Traditionally, the needles can be made from things like bone or wood or shell. In fact, all kinds of different things. Uh, however, today, I'm going to use a piece of bone. Now, this is a cooked bone. I don't know if a raw bone would work. Please leave a comment below if you know that it can or can't. But, I'm going to turn this bone from a piece of lamb into a null bending needle. Let's take a look. Right, so what we need to do is we need to mark out you want a needle which is approximately I guess six inches roughly speaking maybe that's possibly too long for some people it's all going to depend on how you find it works for you But I'm just using a permanent marker here, in this case a sharpie, to come up with my shape. And then we're going to cut this out with a saw. Then what we're going to do is we're going to use a drill to create the hole. And then I'm going to use a, um, a sander to bring this down to the shape and size that I'm looking for. Alrighty, so I'm pretty happy with that. That is roughly speaking 15 centimeters or six inches long and it's probably about one centimeter or what's that a third of an inch give or take in in width now that to some people that's probably too big it's going to work just fine for me for what i need it to work and then uh we'll see how we go i believe it's it's best to try and recreate some of your own kind of stuff and, and i love do it yourself I, I really do i'm absolutely passionate about it so let's see how we go with this just going to very quickly use a power saw here just to create the shape that I'm looking for. Always make sure you've got really good eye protection going. I'm just using a medieval sax or a knife to now create the, the shape that I'm looking for and I'm finding this a remarkably easy process to do. So for those of you who do eat meat or who don't mind using bone, if you are a vegetarian or a vegan, this is a really good process to use. You don't need a bone which is particularly thick. What you need 
really is a bone that will hold the yarn whilst you're doing your nail bending. Now I got two nail bending needles out of that one little piece of bone. Really, really, really happy with this. Couldn't have been actually more happy. Never tried anything like this before in my life, but I thought I'd give it a go, see what happens. Um, so let's just take a quick look. Right, there we are. There's a hole there which is probably about 12 millimeters or half an inch long by a couple of millimeters wide. I've got two of these needles. Really happy, couldn't be happier in fact. Alrighty guys, check back because I'm going to be doing a whole playlist on Narbenden. We'll be doing socks, a hat, mittens. So lots and lots of really great little craft projects coming out. These are fantastic. For those of you who are really passionate about being historically accurate, these are really good videos. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share and I'll catch you in my next video.